I'm here with Dorothea Taylor, who has a absolutely gorgeous steel case coming for Black Panther Wakanda Forever on February 7th, 2023. Accidentally wrote 2022 all over our website, and I, oh, it's, it's like it's just a new year. Um, tell me, to start to start this off in a really positive way, what was your favorite moment in Black Panther Wakanda Forever? Um, I want to say the thing that resonated with me the most uh, were the actual um, female war warriors, Adora Milaje. And I know it's, it's, it's interesting that my favorite scenes are these fight scenes, but I just really love what they represent. I think it's like this really powerful message about female empowerment. I think it's something that especially young girls and women need to see, you know, that they become their own heroes. You know, they, they're not waiting to be rescued, that they're the rescuers. So I really love these, those moments and I just, you know, I'm just really awed by the fact that these warriors actually existed in real life. You know, they're not like this thing that was made up. You know, it's hard to believe, but you know, they actually existed in the 17th century. So yeah, those moments really resonated with me. Phenomenal. Um, and, and you can see that in your in your cover. Uh, what your your cover is very female centric. We do have Mbaku on there, but uh mm -hmm. is is was that your true inspiration? Were were just the door melage or what was your inspiration for the cover? Um, well, yeah, the inspiration were like, I felt like the characters are like the heart and the soul of the movie. And I thought that they weren't one dimensional characters. I think you saw glimpses of them in the first movie, but this one, they were really fully developed. Like when you see Shuri, you see that there's a dichotomy to who she really is. You know, she's vulnerable and yet she has this inner strength. And so I wanted to really play up like, the characteristics and these and focus on these characters. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful Thank piece of art. Thank um, you so much. This, is a, this isn't your first steel book. You actually did one for the first Black Panther as well, correct? Mm -hmm. And actually the interesting story is that these actually happen simultaneously. Um, I didn't, I think because I created the second one, they also gave me the opportunity to create a new one for the Black Panther one. So. It is my second one, but they were both. But that right. Yeah, what, so it was what, busy December for me. Wow, uh, got it, got it. What was what was the difference though in making those two pieces of art? Because the, the other one, from what I looked at, it's it's a very very Black Panther like original T'Challa kind of character. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, for that one, I just kind of wanted to stay with the legacy of the Black Panther. I wanted to do something that was really you know, strongs and the blacks and purple colors and just do something very iconic. For this one, I did want to draw on like the raw emotions of the movies for Wakanda Forever. And so it, it was like a different approach. And also um, there's a companion uh, steel book that's being, that was created by Orlando Orosina. And we kind of made this decision to create like this interesting, um, layout where if you look at the two steel books together, there's like a face off between the Namor and Shuri, you know? So that was something we also thought about with how do we connect these two steel books in a way that's like really intentional, you know, but still let us be our own separate artists. Absolutely. And speaking of you as an artist, you actually have an incredible, I, I don't want to say history, because that just seems like the wrong word, but you have, and you have worked with incredible lines as an artist. Um, you're also a letter artist, which I was just like, that's incredible. Um, support the letters 100%. Um, but tell us about some other projects you've worked on because you've you have an incredible line of art. Right, oh, thank you so much. Um, I've done a lot of different things. I think a lot of times people decide they either wanna be an illustrator or a designer. And I call myself a design illustrator because it's like, I kinda wanna do both. both. I think for the beginning of my career, I did a lot of really focus a lot more on the design aspect. But as opportunities came along, it's like, you know, I really do love to illustrate. And how do I incorporate? Is there a way that, that I can incorporate both of them? So I've worked with Coke. Um, I've done like cup design, point of sale. So we've done all that type of stuff. And like you said, I do, the, I do a lot of lettering you know, centric stuff as well. I've worked with Georgia Pacific where I've done surface designs. 
and just, you know, this, so I have a lot of likes <laughs> and I try to pursue them all, but I'm really liking this lane I'm in right now because I, I'm like a, I don't know, I'm like a geek as far as like, you know, I'm a fan girl. You know, I love these movies. I love these franchises. So it's just like, feels like such a great privilege to create for something that is so close to my heart. Phenomenal. I thank you so much for your time. It was absolutely wonderful that uh, the DVD, the 40 HD Ultra DVD, however you want to put it, is available on February 7th, 2023. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Heather. Once again, we at the NRW want to thank Dorothea Taylor for her time, and we are so excited about her Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, 4K Ultra High Definition, Blu-ray steel case cover featuring the Warriors of Wakanda coming exclusively to Best Buy on February 7th, along with its companion piece featuring the Warriors of Atlantis from Orlando Orisena. Thank you so much, Dorothea, once again. And for those of you who would like to know more about her, we will have her information, including her website and social media below. My name is Heather Hurt. You can follow me on Twitter at Nerd is a Heather or on Instagram and TikTok at Heather is a Nerd. If you ever have any fun comic book questions or want to know more about Black Panther and his origins, please give me a shout whenever you like. And of course, follow us here at the NRW on Twitter and at New Release Wednesday because comics still own that one on Instagram. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have lots of great interviews and a lot of wonderful entertainment content. Thank you, everyone, and y'all have a wonderful day.